how to graph equations of the form x equals c, where c is a constant, by hand. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it and press pause as needed any time during this video. Graph x equals 4 using a table. We need to find ordered pairs that satisfy or work in this equation x equals 4. For example, the ordered pair 4 comma 5 has an x coordinate of 4, so we can put that in the table and then plot it. A second example would be 4 comma negative 3. Put that in the table and plot that. Go ahead and pause and find three more ordered pairs and plot those points. Press resume when you're ready. So our three ordered pairs are 4 comma 0, 4 comma 1, and 4 comma negative 6.7, just to show you, you do not have to always use integers. There is a definitely a pattern in the table. All the x coordinates are 4. And also in the graph, all those points are along the same line. Connect the points. And here's the graph of x equals 4. Recall that two points determine a unique line. How would you describe this line? Please press pause and resume when you're ready. We could say it's a vertical line. It is a line with no slope. Or we can say that the slope of this line is undefined. And this is not a function. Second example, graph x equals negative 3. Using a table again, we need to find ordered pairs that satisfy or work in this equation. One example would be negative 3 comma 5, because it has an x coordinate of negative 3. So we'll plot negative 3 comma 5. A second ordered pair, negative 3 comma negative 7. So we'll go ahead and plot that one. Pause and find three more ordered pairs and plot those. Press resume when you're ready. Our three ordered pairs are negative 3 comma 0, negative 3 comma 7 and a half or 15 halves, and negative 3 comma negative 7 fourths or negative 1 and 3 fourths. Connect the points. Recall that two points do determine a unique line. And how would you describe this line? Press pause and resume when you're ready. It is a vertical line. It is a line that has no slope. Or we can say the slope of the line is undefined. And this is not a function. A third example. We're going to ask that you do this final example before we summarize our findings and generalize. And we'd like you to do this using a table. Pause to do this example and resume when you're finished. So using a table, we put in five halves for the x coordinate. And then we can put in any values that we want for the y coordinate because it only says that x has to be five halves. So we chose these numbers. There are many different numbers you could have chosen. And so we'll plot them and connect the points. And describing the line, again, vertical, no slope, or the slope of the line is undefined, and it is not a function. So let's summarize and generalize our findings here. Each of these graphs of equations are of the form x equals a constant. Each of these lines is a vertical line. None of these lines are functions. Recall that vertical lines have no slope, or we say that the slope of a vertical line is undefined. And each line has an x-intercept 
at the point with coordinates whatever the constant is, comma zero. For example, this one, x equals negative three, it's negative three comma zero is the x-intercept. x equals four, four comma zero. x equals five halves, five halves comma zero. Now we'd ask you to try one. Graph x equals two. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check. So here we have a vertical line, x equals two through two comma zero. It is vertical, has no slope, or the slope of the line is undefined, and this is not a function.